people are talking about a lot of whale strandings and entanglement. So just how much are we talking here? I mean, how bad is it? We've seen uh, so far, we're halfway through the year, we've seen double the number of average strandings for a year and double the number of average entanglements. So um, that's a huge increase. What do we think is causing that? Does anybody have any idea what's at the root of that? There is a resurgence of this large whale, whale population in Washington state. So with more whales, we're gonna see more entanglements and more strandings. Um, other than that, we're still looking at data as these events happen. What is an entanglement and what are some of the causes that lead to stranding? An entanglement means that the whale has become entangled in some kind of marine debris that's out in the water that they've run into. Um, it can be all kinds of things, nets or um, just garbage, and it prevents them from swimming and eating. Sometimes it anchors them in one spot, so it's really dangerous for whales. What are some other reasons besides entanglements that a whale might wash up on shore and die? We see whales stranded uh, due to malnourishment, disease, and sometimes they've been a victim of a propeller strike. Everybody says we want to try to do something to help the whales. What can those of us who aren't in marine rescues do to help these whales? The most important thing you can do if you see an entangled or stranded whale is to call the SOS whale hotline. And then first responders can come and help that animal. When whales are distressed, we're distressed. And so the marine environment affects everybody and um, they're a sentinel of you know what's happening in, in everyone's environment. I think um, there's a lot of concern, but we're also waiting to look at data and look at the roots of these problems.